this, this sucks. This is as tight as this gets. And every time I'm on the trail or on a bumpy road, it's bouncing around and it's doing nonsense and it's just not a good solution. So besides being super loose, the suction cup mount on the windshield just, it's not ideal. Like it blocks a lot of your field of view. It just doesn't look good from the outside. It doesn't look clean. And even the GoPro mount being locked onto the windshield, that stuff tends to fail at the worst possible moment. Like it's gonna pop off because it's cold or it's hot or you jostled it too hard or whatever. All of that stuff, not ideal when you're out on the trail and you want your stuff to be up and mounted securely. The trouble is the JK doesn't actually have a great place to store your phone regardless. There's not a good place in the dash and, and these vents don't really work well for the, the kind of cell phone holders that go in the vents. So today I've got the fix for this and it's amazing. So for Christmas, I bought myself the Vector Off-Road E-Dock, and it is a super cool phone accessory gadget. Anything you want to mount, you can now mount to this along the entire length of the dash. It works with the 67's designs uh, stuff. It works with the uh, bullet point solution stuff. So all of that works with this. You just got to get the right little connector for it, but this will allow me to mount all of the accessories that I want, the phones, the GoPros, uh, tablets, any of that kind of stuff along the entire length of the dash, wherever I want them. So not just in the like the little top cubby section that you normally see these mounts mounted in. Uh, this will allow me to go along the entire length of the dock. So I bought this. Uh, I saw a buddy of mine, Kevin from High Point Overland. He had this in his rig and I thought it was super cool. So uh, I decided I needed it in mine as my first real mod for my JK. So I'm super pumped about that. Now I also got uh, some 67's Designs phone mounts uh, so that I can mount the phone and the GoPro and all that stuff to this. So uh, let's go ahead and get this stuff installed and see how it works. All right, so to be honest with you, the Vector eDoc did not come with instructions on how to install it. Or if it did, I didn't see them and I threw them away. But anyway, it should be fairly self-explanatory and I looked on YouTube and it's not complicated at all. So first step is to remove the rubber tray off the dash here and to do that, you just kind of pull it off. There we go. And then we have a nine, what is this? Nine thirty seconds little bolt in here. It's nearly impossible to see unless you're right up in there. Next, there are some plastic tabs at the front on each side that we need to pop off. They're really simple. You just pop them off with a screwdriver and that should give us access to some pre-done screws that we're gonna use for the mount. Next, we're gonna take the little mounting bars that were included, screw those into the screws that are in there. Now they're hard to see, so you really gotta do it by feel, but it's not that complicated. You'll get a hang of it and you just screw them in, each one on each side. All right, so all the prep work is done. We should be able to just mount this in now without any problems. If you notice that I'm a little sweaty, it's because it's like 85 degrees in South Carolina on December 28th, which also happens to be my birthday. So happy birthday to me. This is also sort of a little bit of a birthday present I got myself, but let's get it finished up and mounted because I'm super excited. So once you get the e-dock lined up, it's pretty smooth sailing from there. All you need to do is reuse the factory bolt in that center cubby and then use the included hardware to screw in and lock down the sides. The one thing that was not included was an Allen key, so you're going to need one of those in order to install this as well. All right, that was super easy and I'm really pumped. It looks awesome. It's super solid feeling. So now I just need to open up all these guys and uh, actually put the foam mounts together. 
So the way these work is these are on sort of a ball and clamp style system. So this is the 67's design phone mount G2. And uh, this is the arm that's going to stretch over. And then this is the clamp with the round end here that's going to mount onto that e-dock. And so once it's all together, it should look something like this. And that'll mount on there like that, and it'll be totally rock solid. So let's get this installed on the e-dock, put the phone in it, and see what we think. So once I figured out about where I wanted my phone to be mounted, I attached all the 67's design hardware, and then double-checked everything, moved it around a little bit, and tightened it up into its final place. So one thing I love about the 67 Designs phone holder is that it's really easy to use with one hand. It's sort of just this push in and lock motion that you get used to pretty quickly. All right, well that's gonna do it. I am super pumped about that Vector eDock and my 67 Design phone mounts. I still need to get the GoPro mount, I'll be honest with you. Stuff's not super cheap. The dock was like a little over hundred bucks. The phone mounts a little over hundred bucks. So over time, it's a pretty expensive system, which is probably the only downside to it. Uh, but I do think it's probably worth it, particularly for what I'm doing. So anyway, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. It helps out the channel a lot. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Check out all the adventures that were going on. The entire JKU build that's gonna be happening. Uh, and share this video. Share it with your JK buddies or your Overland buddies. Uh, let them know about the channel here at Simply Must Go. And until next time, we'll see you on the trails.